Hey, Stuart, you're coming to Hallie's party, right? You bet. Plus, I live there and I was invited, so it's already better than my 10th birthday party. <laughs> Great. Can you bring a few things? Sure. What do you need? Balloons, streamers, ice, snacks, a bounce house, face painter, and a couple of kids whose parents are willing to lie and say they know me from the daddy and me class I've never been to. Where do you and Hallie go every week? The important thing is we're together, and if the movie gets too violent, I cover her eyes. Don't stress about this party. She's one. She's not going to remember. The other day I showed her her toe and she was shocked. Hello. Hey. So, this is for Amy's birthday. Can I leave it here? Sure. What is it? Uh, butter churn. Oh, that's what I got her. Yeah. <laughs> it's for her surprise frontier birthday dinner. I, I am making hardtack, boiled salt pork, and because it's a special day, a chewable gob of tree sap. <laughs> is that good? Uh, compared to other foods, no. Compared to other parts of a tree, eh. <laughs> Hello, Stuart. Uh, two questions. Do you have the new Aquaman? And do you mind if I use your back room to smoke some meat? Well, since it's you asking, I'm gonna guess that's not a euphemism. <laughs> What you reading? Yep, it's your brother's Christmas letter. Ugh. If there's a picture of his wife and his kids and his dogs and his horses all in matching pajamas, I beg you to burn it. Oh, the people's pajamas have little horses on them and the horses have little people. It's just his chance to brag about how great his life is. Oh, come on, it's nice. You know that nonprofit he works with? They built a hospital in Rwanda. Oh, look at me, I built a hospital in Rwanda. <laughs> That's a good point. I hadn't thought of it that way.